from Chicago, Illinois, it's theCUBE. Covering Veeam On 2018. Brought to you by Veeam. Welcome back to Veeam On 2018. This is theCUBE, the leader in live tech coverage. My name is Dave Vellante with my co-host, Stu Miniman. Hashtag Veeam On, our second year of, of Veeam On coverage. This is day one. Kerry Stanton is here. He's the Vice President of Strategic Alliances at Veeam. We're having a great conversation about hockey, Cape Cod, but, uh, you know, we're golden retrievers. Yeah, Dave, Dave. Golden retrievers. <laughs> I, I love, love dogs. Hey, Dave, how many times do we travel the world and talk to a local? So, <laughs> you know, Boston area guy. Oh, so, well, welcome to the yeah. Cube. And, Thank uh, you very much. And welcome to Boston. You're, yeah, uh, a year and a half in Boston, right downtown. Empty nesters. My uh, two children are back to university in Canada. Got a sophomore and a junior. And uh, so my wife and I are living in Boston, empty nesters. So oh, it's awesome. you gotta, that's great. You got to love it. And, uh, and I love the fact that you're from Ottawa, but you're a Bruins fan. Yes, Good. I've, 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 I've basically, I have turned into a Bruins fan. I'm a Red Sox fan and a Patriots fan. And uh, yes, the Celtics are in the playoffs. You better be if you're working for, for Peter McKay. Yeah, no, I, you <laughs> have to. It's, a, it's <laughs> like you have to sign in. And I've worked for Peter for 17 years, three different companies. Wow, yeah. okay, so you were at VMware. I was uh, at VMware, I was at Destone, and then we did IBM, and prior to that was Watchfire, which we sold to IBM. So, long journey. So give us the update. What's happening in Alliance? Yeah, so it's great. We have, as you know, uh, we have our global reseller agreement that we uh, announced with, uh, most recently with NetApp, just right. in March, where we're, we're now in the, on the GPL. Uh, we went live on Cisco. We announced Cisco back in August, but we went live on November 15th. And uh, we have HPE, and all three of them um, are just you know, exceeding expectations as far as the demand and the interest that we're getting from our sellers. As you've seen from Peter and, and Veeam, we're, we're targeted to the enterprise. We have our messaging around hyper-availability. And so these partners bring us a huge opportunity by working into their customer base, but on, we close 133 customers a day, right? You heard Peter mention that. Um, but having, we're bringing them into our customer base, which is traditionally SMB and, and commercial, um, and we're working with them on their enterprise. But an exciting stat for that one is that we say no naked Veeam. When you sell with an alliance partner, it's six to eight times larger than if we sell standalone. So it's working, the messaging and the enablement that we have with our field, and we're 100% channel, so that's, that's working very well on just the enablement with you know, uh, Jeff Giannetti, Sean, and Olivier and EMEA. Well, the other thing that you guys seem to have done is figured out how to take a long view, a strategic view with these partners. Mo many organizations, they look for the tactical, okay, how yep. much money are we going to make this yes. year? Yep. You're looking at the lifetime value of a customer. Correct. It's, it's, it's frankly quite unique in this business. Yep. Well, the, the interesting thing we're doing, which is not just on the global resellers, which is on all of our partners, is that we look and say, what's a good partnership look like, or what's the great partnership look like? And, and what we have is the investment that we, is because we are, because we're private, is we'll do the front end investment up front, we'll do a joint business plan, have shared metrics across the table, so whether that's with peer storage or with Nutanix, with our VMware, Microsoft, we front load all of those investments, to your point, is that we're not just waiting to see, did we have success year one and then we'll invest year two. We take that three year business case view up front and do the front load investment. So what does that mean? That's a dedicated business development team. Like we have 25 people working go to market with HPE or 12 working with, with Cisco. And we take that from technical architects, field marketing, product marketing, and to make that in entire pot. Yeah, Kerry, wonder if you can give us a little bit of a compare contrast. VMware would build one of the best you know, ecosystems out there. We, we've already talked once a day, for every dollar you spent on VMware, you did you know, 15, 20 dollars uh, with the ecosystem. Veeam's nice, vibrant ecosystem. Yes. Uh, get, get, getting deeper with some of those partners. You know, give us a little bit of compare from your previous life. Yeah. Sure, so at, at VMware, um, the, the, no question that they had that solution, so we take that here as well and we call it the Veeam currency. So when you're going in and selling Veeam, if you're selling an average selling price of, of $10,000, we're working with our partners where they're seeing that that, that deal is going to turn into a $50,000 traditional with an alliance partner sale in conjunction with their hardware. So they're, they're managing the entire software process, so they're seeing they're up leveling the messaging, so no longer just pinpointing a, a hardware solution, and they're, they're, they're increasing their average selling price by 10x. So Cisco is a great set, 10x, again, I'll repeat, 10x with Veeam uh, on doing those, those, those deals versus just trying to go in and sell Hyperflex standalone. It's just a really critical time in the industry right now. Our research shows that there's a gap between what the business expects in terms of the degrees of automation, the level of quality of services, and what IT is actually delivering 
So that says the customer base is really ripe for churn hmm. in a lot of accounts. And so you guys being aggressive with partnerships with regard to making that investment as a private company, the timing, frankly, couldn't be better. Especially as you go from what was you know, a virtualized world where you guys did very, very well to now this cloud, multi-cloud, digital, mm -hmm. you know, throw out whatever buzzword you want. But yes. we are at an inflection point. Yeah, we sure are. I, I think that what we're seeing on with our partners, especially on um, HVE and, and Cisco and Nutanix, they're all in their hyper-converged, and so they're going in a whole different sales motion. We're seeing it on uh, our hybrid cloud, we're number one co-sell partner with Microsoft. So we you know, have our backup, native backup to Azure. And so we're seeing this, you know, com this disruptive market in, in the marketplace. And we're also seeing a lot of our partners have competitive takeouts of you know, Dell Avamar, right? And their data domain. So we're going in and taking out Dell Avamar and they're going in and data domain. So we have a lot of synergy. And, and so as these traditional vendors such as Avamar, uh, Veritas, Commvault, and, and, uh, and the IBM Tivoli solution is that we have those sales motions going with our partners that are going after those hardware solutions. So it's again, it's very synergistic with our, our, T1, our tier one partnerships. Well you see a huge drive towards simplicity. I mean, the other thing you guys do really well is, and it sounds so simple, but you, you're compatible with a lot of different clouds, for mm -hmm. example. A lot of, so more workloads, more environments, increases your TAM and your, your friendliness to partners. I mean, it sounds simple, but execution is not. Yeah, we're, we're a Swiss-based company. We remain, you know, the, the Switzerland is that we work with all partners in all routes, and, and so we've, we've, we've seen a lot of success in that way. I mean, we're, we see a lot of demand coming from uh, our customers wanting, our partners wanting to work with us in these multi-cloud solutions that we have with Microsoft. Biggest challenges, I mean, is it, is it a channel conflict? Dealing with deal registration. I mean, what are some of the challenges you guys are, are, are facing? I think the challenge is just enabling our sales teams on how to work with these partners and to understand the sales motion. And some of our uh, our sales our sales execs are 20 year veterans that have come in and worked in a traditional place where when you went out to tackle an enterprise deal, you did that standalone. And we realize that that we don't take any deals direct. So just getting them in the sales motion with our partners is is a challenge, but one that is easily uh, adapting to success that we're having in the field. All right, Kerry, I know you're super tight on time. We yes, promised sir. to get you out of here, so we, we got to leave it there. But thanks so much for coming okay. on theCUBE. It's really Thank a you very much. having you. Thanks. All right, keep it right there, everybody. We'll be back with our next guest. Right after this short break, you're watching theCUBE, live from VeeamON 2018.